it's Spotify. I got a package from Egypt and I was like, I've never received something from Egypt. Spotify. Let's see. There's a candle. Yum. Oh my god. The candle is, um, I think it's pumpkin. I don't know. I might be wrong. Spotify wrapped socks. Cute. I have a Spotify coaster. I'm a coaster girly, by the way. I love coasters. Oh my god. <gasps> There's another layer. It's a robe that says 2023 wrapped. Oh my god, there's another. That's a lot of layers. Another pair of socks. I have two. I'll give one to a friend. Good. Oh my god, it's a Snuggie. I don't know what they're called. I call them Snuggies. I don't know if they are. Oh my god, it's a onesie with a hoodie. Girl, I already have a hard time leaving this couch. I'm not gonna be leaving this couch. This is so soft, wow. Thank you so much, Spotify. That was so kind of you. Oh, that candle is really nice. It's a shame that it's like, it got melted, but it came from Egypt to Dubai, so I didn't really, what can you expect, you know? So I had to take off the onesie. It was hot, but I will be using it for Desperate Housewives at night. You know, I got a package from Adidas yesterday, actually, that I forgot to show. Um, so it's from their collection with Stella McCartney and it's their hiking edition. Um, I don't hike, but Maria and I have been saying that we want to. So, um, I don't know anything about hiking shoes, but this is what these hiking shoes look like. It's heavy, but I guess that's what it's supposed to be like. I have no idea. I know nothing, but this is her. This is she. Um, it's the Terex. Terex? I don't know. Hiking shoes. So it's a sign. Mari and I are going to go hiking. Then they sent a hiking bag. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Spacious. Um, I don't know what you're supposed to take hiking water bottle and this is the beanie so that's it also it's my brother's birthday and he requested birthday french toast from my mommy um i got some too it's not my birthday but so i'm gonna enjoy this and then I have to leave the house. I have no concept of time. I have no idea what time it is. So it's 12.52. I thought it was way earlier. So I wanna be in the mall, like 1.50, I would say. Um, the event starts at two, I believe. So I wanna be there a bit earlier. And um, so I have to leave the house at like 1.20. So I'm gonna eat this, do work for the next 25 minutes and then to spill the tea so um we went to the event it was at the adidas store 
and um, I don't know why I chose to sit on the floor, but so we went to the event. It was um, at the Adidas store in Dubai Mall, and pretty much I walk in and there's like a massive, massive line of people, Arsenal fans waiting, and then it took like 30 minutes to start like they were 30 minutes buying schedule but that's quite normal and then three of the players came out there was like a quick q a session and stuff and it was time for meet and greet and they dipped people were angry people were not having it the pr people got like me and a few other people to go in the back to get like things signed with the players if we wanted to I went and I took like two of their of the fans things. So I took someone's ball and someone's top and I got it signed for them. Um, but besides that, like no one was allowed to go and people were not having it. People were angry, people were yelling. Um, some people had driven for like four hours to get there. Some were like waiting in line from 9 a.m. And things like that it wasn't the players fault or anything i think it was just like a safety thing because it was so many people i don't think they expected that much i think at the end the adidas team tried to get as many autographs as they could so they were trying to help people out i think only like 10 of us were asked to go to the back and like meet them and stuff that was pretty much the event uh, i felt bad for how it turned out but these things happen it's now it is i think 6 30 ish Yasmin's gonna be over just before seven. We're gonna go to Abu Dhabi because I have a work party event thing happening and they're coming. I'm just gonna get ready. I'm changing uh, to something a bit more chill and then we're gonna head out. Let me show you what I was wearing though. And then these jeans and I was wearing my Samba. But also I got a PR package when I left the house. Dear Camila, it's okay. So my name is Camellia. I know that it's confusing because it's I-L-L-I. -L -L um, so a lot of people call me Camilla. A lot of people say Camila, Camille. But I'm okay with all of them. I love all those names. So I never really correct people much. By far. I love by far. This is so cute. <gasps> Look at her. She's tiny. She's so cute. Should I hold this tonight? Oh my god, this is so nice. Thank you so much. This is so cute. I love it. Let's get ready. I don't have much time, but I'm not doing my hair and makeup and stuff. So maybe add a bit more blush. The event in Abu Dhabi starts at 8. Um, I'm not going to try to be there until like 9, I would say. Um, and then not staying for too long. I'm going to come back quite early. I don't know what to wear. I don't know what vibe I want to go for because like... Because it's a party and it's like a chill one, I wanna like just dress quite chill. Like I was thinking like baggy jeans, baby tee or something like that. But because it's related to work, I feel like I can't or like I shouldn't. So I'm confused. Forever, Forever on, on the, the dance, dance floor. floor. So this is the outfit that I wanted to wear, but honestly, I don't know. She's cute, but I'm just getting more and more bloated as the day goes by and I'm not in the mood to like feel like I have to suck in the entire night. So I think I'm gonna change my top. I just got this big box. It's from Sephora and Kiehl's. Oh, so Kiehl's is now with Sephora in the Middle East. So this is a box of a bunch of favorites. Look at this box. It has everything. I'm so excited. I love skincare. Let's open it up and check it out. Thank you, Kiehl's and Sephora. Thank you. Also, how often can I wear this until it's just not cute to keep wearing it? Um, also, I made a sire. I had nothing. I had no granola. I had no uh, peanut butter, I had nothing. So it's just that. And then I had some leftover um, chocolate sprinkles <laughs> from Baskin Robbins. So I put that in. So this is the, don't know how to say that word. It's a deep cleansing foaming face wash. Uh, gently removes impurities and relieves skin of redness and discomfort. I love trying out face washes. 
and I haven't used a foaming face wash in forever. So I'm looking forward to this. I feel like it's like an advent calendar. Then we have the same word that I'm not too sure if I'm gonna pronounce correctly, but it's the herbal extract toner alcohol free. Oh, there's things going on inside. Do you see that? After 28 days, see a visible reduction in oiliness, shine, redness, appearance of pores, and blemish count. Okay. Oh my god, is this the... Yes. yes! This is the eye cream. If you watched one of my last vlogs, you know that I said my eye cream has gone bad. Let's go. So this reduces puffiness, soothes um, texture, and brightens under eyes. This under eye cream by Kiehl's is the creamy eye treatment with avocado this actually makes a massive difference it's one of the only under eye creams i've ever used that actually makes me see a difference love her thank you for sending it to me again yeah i love scrunchies i use these like little ones but i think this looks so cute whoa there's three things in here so one is niacinamide Glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid. Thank you guys. That is them. They have a candle. Pretty. This is so nice. It's so relaxing. It's giving spa. Go deep for peak hydration. This is moisturizer. moisturizer. So funny story about the moisturizer. They once sent me the big tub and i started using it and then my skin got this crazy reaction and i assumed it was this it was not um and then i gave it to my friend but yeah i had a massive reaction and i just assumed it was that big this feels scary oh <gasps> candy thank you sephora and keels very generous <laughs> 